The orcs as a faction in 40k are pretty much just weaponized stupidity. That's one way to take care of their business. Mordaka! Dolph Lundgren and Red Scorpion, Sylvester Stallone and Rambo, Schwarzenegger and the boys in Predator, and that is, uh, ah, here we go. It shoots explosive rockets that are the size of, like, a Red Bull can. <laughs> oh. and <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Willie B. Coyote, and today we are playing Warhammer 40k Space Marine. As most of you probably know, 40k Space Marine 2 is right around the corner, so I decided to do a Let's Play Space Marine 1 to get rid of it. Uh, full disclosure, I have actually never played this game before, but I've heard very, very, very good things about it, both from gamers and 40k fans in general. Um, so, uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, new campaign. I'll go with easy because I don't want to completely eat it. I know it's a weak forfeit noob mood. Blech, blech. I can't fucking talk today. I know it's a weak uh, noob move, but you know what? I don't want to eat it completely. In the grim darkness of the far future, there is only war. Ah, uh, name a line that goes harder than that. Okay. Priority alarm. Xenos invasion force detected. Target crime. Informatus. Destination Forge World. Manufacturer Majakis. Industrial output. Oh, they're making literally everything here. Guns. Oh, they got a Warlord class Titan here. Oh. Okay, so, yeah, yeah, we're, we definitely don't want to lose this strategic value, absolute. We do not want to lose this planet. Xenos invasion in progress. Recommended course of action? Exterminatus. Oh, no, 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 no. There's a war negative. Strategic value, absolute. We do not want to use exterminatus. Skip it a button, that up. Deploy capital weapon rate? Negative. Reduction in manufacturing is not acceptable. Liberation fleet. Affirmative. Minor elements in system. Estimated time of arrival, 5 to 37 days. Unacceptable. Loss of strategic address on Graia. Unacceptable. Strategic value absolute. Escalate air denial. Affirmative. Execute request order. Adeptus Astani's Ultra. The Ultramarines! Deploying the Ultramarines. Oh, let's go. Let's go. That's my chapter right there. I know the Ultramarines are basically the default goody two-shoes, like, uh, out of all the chapters you could pick, but, you know, like, they're basically the de facto four protagonists of 40k for a reason, plus their Primarch came back first, so, you know, yeah. Sega Presents, a Relic Entertainment production. Okay, here we go. Ultramarine's fleet, strike cruiser, fury of descent, target, forge world, Gaia. Objective, secure the Titans. Right, so for those who don't know what Warhammer 40k is, essentially it's a tabletop war game taking place in the far future with fantasy elements. So, you know, you got all the sort of sci-fi stuff like spaceships and FTL travel and guns and lasers and all that. Captain Titus, the orcs have massacred the forge world's forces. Well, that's gonna make things a little more difficult. Oh boy. Pilot, report. Get the ship to safety. We'll find another way down. Okay. Okay, they're gonna use jump packs. Let's go. That's, uh, Captain Titus there. That's us. He's played by the legendary Mark Strong. So, uh, yeah. This is your plan. We need to get to the surface to take out the gun battle. What do you want to go home already, Sergeant? Not before having a word or two with the orcs. Let's go. Is that wise, Captain? The Codex Astartes does not support this action. Ah, quit being a turbo nerd. Oh my god! Here we go! Here we go! 
Oh, explosions and orc ships everywhere. Uh, they're gonna be shooting shit at Saras Mordaka. Ah, there we are. Funny bit of t bit of 40k lore about the orcs is that uh, they can actually. Literally, I'm not even joking about this. They literally put rolled down windows to get a nice on their spaceships to get a nice breeze, and they don't suffocate because they're literally too stupid to realize that they can't breathe in space. Mordaka. Okay. W A S D to navigate. Okay. Here we go. So yeah, 40k Space Marine more or less is a hybrid hack and slash third person shooter. Uh, you know, it puts the two together re decently well. So, you can shoot, or you can, uh... Right. So, for those who don't know, uh, Warhammer 40k is a franchise that uh, goes back to the 1980s. The premise of it is, is it takes place in the future where uh, humanity have colonized our space, but uh, unlike normal sci-fi settings, there's also fantasy uh, elements to it as well. Like, you have orcs. Uh, right here, I'm fighting orcs. but uh, And there's also elves, but in this setting, they're called Eldar. And, um, basically the whole premise of it is, is that every, it's basically the galaxy is locked in an internal, in a nearly eternal war, state of war. Um, there's demon, there's chaos, there's the forces of chaos who are demons, there's, uh, the orcs, there's the Eldar, there's the Dark Eldar, there's the Necrons who are skeleton robots, basically like the Terminator, and, uh... Yeah, it's not great, and we are fighting for the Imper the glory of the Imperium of Man. Death to all Xenos! Die, filthy Xenos, die! And I'm playing as a Space Marine, and Space Marines as a faction are basically the face of the 40k franchise. Ah, oh, here's an Orc War Boss! Ah, uh, gotta love orcs in the 40k universe, they're always cockneys. Disruptive? You what? Disruptive? Are you taking the piss, pal? Disruptive? What do you know about education, you melt? You're having a Turkish, ain't ya? I never read a book in my life. I went to the University of Life, my son. Do you think I'm gonna have that off you? No good at French? No good at fucking French? Who the fuck speaks French? Yeah. The orcs as a faction in 40k are pretty much just weaponized stupidity. Pretty much. They're uh they're kinda goofy, but uh that's the whole point, really. There you go. Press E to rotate the turret. Yeah, so Space Marines are basically genetically engineered super soldiers. They're created by the Emperor of Mankind in, and genetically modified to the point that they're basically demigods. You know, they, like, they live for hundreds if not thousands of years and uh, they're meant to be the ultimate warriors of humanity, basically. Bear in mind, the... The setting for 40k is described as Grim Dark, which is based off of the slogan in the grim darkness of the future there is only war. Simply put, there are no good guys in the traditional sense in 40k. Every faction is evil. It's just that humanity's faction, which is the Imperium of Man, just happens to be the least evil of the bunch. You know? So, um, yeah. And there's all kinds of different factions within the 40k universe and the 40k lore. And, like, you could literally spend, like, three days straight, like, s just straight 72 hours nonstop of reading up on 40k lore and only scratch the surface of how deep this storyline goes. Uh, there's been video games, there's been short films, and there's also an upcoming series, uh, live-action movie and TV series being produced by Henry Cavill. 
which is for Amazon, which is going to be really cool. Come in. Damned orc shot me off course. I've had no word from Leandros, but I'm picking up box chatter from Imperial Guard forces on the ground. I scarcely thought anyone would be left alive, much less still fighting. Heading towards the front lines now. I will meet you there. All right, so we got to hook up with Sidonis and our other guy and find out uh, where and find uh, any Imperial Guard forces left. So the Imperial Guard, for context, is basically the standard human infantry. And there's different sub-factions within the Imperial Guard from different planets. Like the stand, like these guys here are dead Imperial Guard soldiers. These are meant to be the Cadian Shock Troopers, who are pretty much the default infantry faction. Like, if you see the Imperial Guard, you're probably going to be thinking of the Cadian Shock Troopers. My personal favorite Imperial Guard sub-faction and my per favorite faction in 40k overall, by far, are the Katachan Jungle Fighters. And the Katachans are from a jungle planet called Katachan, and they are the finest practitioners of guerrilla warfare in the galaxy. They're basically an army of roided-up space Rambos. So basically think like Dolph Lundgren and Red Scorpion, Sylvester Stallone and Rambo, Schwarzenegger and the boys in Predator, and that is, uh, ah, here we go. Here we go. We got our bolt gun. We got our bolt gun. Let's go. Yeah, the Bolter is the Space Marine's weapon of choice. It's an automatic rocket launcher, basically. Like, it shoots, like, self-propelled rockets that are explosive rockets that are the size of, like, a Red Bull can. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, they just are do so much damage. Like, like uh, the power scaling in 40k is honestly ridiculous at times because of, uh, like, how powerful all the weapons are. Like, even the standard Imperial Guard LAS gun will literally, like, melt a normal human being. Destroy them. Ah, here's one of our other guys. Okay. So, yeah, there's, a, uh, And, uh, the orcs also, they call their guns shoot guns. Yeah. Like, uh... I recommend if you're interested in this setting, do a little bit of reading. You can watch YouTubers like Chapter Master Valrak and Major Kill, and other YouTubers like that who have uh, really good 40k lore deep dive videos going into various parts of 40k lore, which is really fun to read about. There's there's a lot of extended media for 40k, like you know there's the there's the main tabletop game where you paint the miniatures and play them and fight other people's armies. There's uh, books, lore books, the codexes, um, there's various, the black library novels, there's also, uh, short films such as Astartes, which got made canon a few years ago, and, uh, and, uh, now we've got the, uh, Henry Cavill series coming down the pipeline, so that's gonna be cool. There we go. The Elves. Are you wounded? The Codex Astartes warns against using jump packs to leap blindly into enemy fire and for good reason. Your days as a novice are behind you. Why do you still interpret the Codex so narrowly? I look to its rules for guidance. We all do. There are also benefits to thinking for yourself. Hmm. Well, Andros doesn't like that. He's a turbo nerd. He interprets the Codex Astartes literally. Right, so, for those who don't know, the Codex Astartes is basically, uh... It was created by Rebute Gilliman, who was the Primarch of the Ultra Ultramarines. Pretty much every Space Marine chapter has what's called a Primarch, who is like the original... Uh, effectively father of all the space marines because they were created by the emperor of mankind to be political leaders military leaders and uh, galactic enforcers basically and their genetic material was used to create the various space marine chapters they survived under the shadow of that gun i want to know how collected uh, audio log there Look, there's the Imperial Guard. All 
Alright, I'm low on bolter ammo, so I'll switch over to my bolt pistol and use my, my uh, knife. Eventually, I'll get the chainsword, which is an iconic 40k weapon. And, uh, if there's one thing that everybody Faction 40k loves, it's melee combat. Let's go! Yeah. Let's go, let's go. Yeah. It's also important to note that, uh, Space Marines are really, really rare in compared to the billions, hundreds of billions, if not trillions of humans that live in the galaxy. So, like, not only that, but the Space Marines are so good at what they do that... They only get called in for the absolute worst case scenarios. So like you could go your entire life in the 40k universe and never see a single space marine. Um This way. My lord. You have saved us. Mm-hmm. Rise, guardsmen. You saved yourselves. We you thought you did. We would be, my lord. If not for the lieutenant. Where will we find this lieutenant? At the front lines. Follow the trench network to the lieutenant's command bunker. Carry on, guardsmen. We rendezvous with Sedonus. Then we find this lieutenant. We need updated intel on the gun battery. Alright, let's go. We gotta find Sedonus. Find that Cadian shock trooper lieutenant and uh... Here, hang on. I'm gonna get some ammo. Uh, for my, uh, for my bolter. Let's go. Remarkable. A few hundred against a million orcs. And they fight on. Only in death. No. Get off. Yeah, like, you could go your entire life, if you lived in the 40k universe, you could go your entire life and never see a space marine once. But if you do see a space marine, it usually means, like, Shit has hit the fan. Like things are really, really bad if they call in the Space Marines. And uh yeah. Here we are. Here's Sidonis. Save some orcs for you. Let's go. We got the we got the band back together. Well defended, no mistake. But typical orc behavior would be to dismantle or destroy the gun, and mm -hmm. certainly not use it to keep our forces at bay. There's a strategy behind it. Their leader is no fool. This day is getting interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that. We have encountered the orc during our jump to the surface. That was the orc ship I saw crash near here. I if I go here, we should get. Oh, the let's go! On itself, it's still under his control. Got the chain sword. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, ha, ha, ha! Let's go. Yeah, ha, ha! So, as the name implies, the uh, chainsword is a sword that's made out of a chainsaw. And I'm not even joking. It's so great. Gotta love the chainsword. Kill that guy. Kill that orc. Purge the heretics! Ah, uh, I love 40k. Always remember, when it comes to 40k, when in doubt, just purge more. Alright, let's check back here. Ammo. Yes, that's handy. Head back this way. Target that squig. Squigs now. God's men, we will honor your memory. Squigs. 
Squigs incoming. So squigs are basically little stump animals that the orcs like use as suicide bombs, basically. They're like the tickers from uh, Gears of War, pretty much. Boosh! Take that. Look out, drop ship. Blow stuff up. That's one way to take care of our business. Okay. Incoming! Yeah, I'm so used to playing tactical shooters lately with aim down the sights that uh, I keep forgetting that left the right mouse click in this game is uh, for your sh for your melee weapon. I'll ha give me a second. I'll be right back. My battery's running low. All right, everybody, I'm back and. Uh, Let's get back to purging heretics here. Come on, come on. Come on, gunner orcs, come down so I can... Come down so I can, uh... Slaughter you in a blaze of glory. Purge the heretics! My armor is content and my face is my shield! Yes, I did just say my face is my shield. That's a Russian badger meme from one of his 40k videos. Oh boy. What now? You're not scary. Get some! Marines, thank you. We thought we were done for. Where is your commander, Guardsman? Inside, but the door is sealed. I believe they will let us through. Imperial Guard, we are Ultramarines. Open this door. Let's go. Space Marines. Word from the second recce. And we go. We've reached the command bunker. Uh, the uh, Cadian shock troopers here are in pretty rough shape. Reinforce their position. Hold the line. And stay alive. Aye, Lieutenant. Here we go. I'm guessing that's the Lieutenant then. All right, let's go. Second Lieutenant Mira, 203rd Cadian Regiment. Captain Titus of the Ultramarines. You are in command. I'm all that's left, my lord. Unless my commanders rise from the grave. So far, they seem content to stay put. Lieutenant, the scouts have returned to forward base. How many? Two. Damn. I sent out ten. Mm-hmm. That damn gun. We don't have the numbers to make an assault, and as you might have seen, it's shooting down all our support vessels. That is why we are here. Leave the gun to us. Come with me then. Yep, that's the idea. I should warn you, my Cavalry's lords. here. We've got a slight orc problem down here. See, what have we got here? Pick up a purity seal. I've unlocked fury. That's cool. You now gain fury every time you damage an enemy. Once the fury meter is full, you use T to enter fury mode. All close combat attacks are enhanced, and you regain health. Fury mode drains the fury meter, ending when the meter is empty. Okay. What do you know of the titans on this planet? 
Only that our troops were sent to guard the Titan Invictus at Manufactorum Ajakis. But that was two weeks ago, and we've lost contact with them. We need to reach that Titan. Your hmm? fastest route is across the rail bridge behind the gun complex. It leads directly to the western gate of the Manufactorum. All right, we gotta get to the front lines. So, the reason why the Titan war machines are so important to the Imperium is that, uh... Stuck on bloody forge world and not a is that, uh... Site. They, uh... Humanity built a whole bunch of them, but due to, uh... Technological stagnation, they can't build any more. So every single Titan war machine they have is... That's all they got. So if they lose one, it's the equivalent of, like, losing... Bill trillions of men, you know? That is how important they are, so... You know, it was at the beginning, you know, it said strategic value is absolute. That's why they sent in the Ultramarines. So yeah, the Ultramarines are just one of many Space Marine chapters. And, uh... The, there's a diff there are different chapters, all with different color schemes and themes to them. The Ultramarines are blue, and they're pretty much just the standard, like, default... Uh, default characters, pretty much. They're the de facto protagonists of the 40k universe, pretty much. So, yeah, the Ultramarines have a lot of plot armor, and the 40k fans like to jokingly call them Smurfs because their armor is blue. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, there's also other chapters like the uh, Blood Angels who uh, have red armor, and their whole shtick is like they're basically space vampires. There's the Imperial Fists, who have bright yellow armor, and their whole shtick is, sh is siege warfare. You know, if you need to build a wall or knock one down, you call in the Imperial Fists. Um, there's the Salamanders, their armor is green, and uh, their whole thing is... They're pyromaniacs, basically. They're really, really good at a... Uh... Okay, here we are, manning the Heavy Bolter. Yeah, I'm just gonna unload on these guys, pretty much. So, uh, and, uh, you've also got the Dark Angels, who are, whose armor is also green, but it's a darker color green than the Salamanders. And, uh, and, uh, their whole shtick is they're basically, like, Arthurian knights, pretty much. All right, let's take the heavy boulder with us. The orcs took it almost as soon as we got here, nearly two weeks ago. Our unit was the only one to make landfall before they gained control. Now none of our ships can get past the gun. Heavy bolter, my beloved. through here. Stalker Bolter, let's go. Stalker Bolter, it's basically like a Bolter Sniper, pretty much. Let's head up to here. That's where the orcs breach the gun battery. Oh, really? You don't say. We haven't been able to make it inside the wall. Doesn't look like you have. There aren't enough of us. You have survived this long on your own, Lieutenant. You have done well. Mm -hmm. You are no longer alone. We will retake the gun. You will get your reinforcements. All right, let's go. Yeah, we gotta get the Cadians their reinforcements. Hang on a second, I'm gonna check something. I'll be right back. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. We're heading back to the command post, Captain. Good luck. Alright, I'm back. I just need to check how long we've been recording for. Let's get, uh, ammo. Orcs 
on the high ground. Uh, there's the I pressed Q to see what would happen and uh, tossed a grenade. So I know that's uh Yeah. Stalker Bolter is the uh Bolter sniper, but I seem to have uh, missed what the control was for uh uh how to zoom in on the scope. Ow. Yeah. Cause I wasn't paying attention because I'm a noob like that. But hey, I haven't had any skill issues yet, so that's nice. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Let's see if we can find a way around. Here it is. Excuse me. Ammo. Reloading. Yeet. But yeah, I, I've been uh, dipping my toe into 40k lore over the past few years, and I'm I'm really liking it. You know, I can see why people like this. It's cool. I can get down with it. You know, I especially like the Catachans. The Catachans are my favorite faction in the entire universe. Yeah, I wanna like. I did a Catachan costume for Halloween a couple of years ago. It wasn't very good, but I want to hope to refine it. You know, I got face paint for it and everything, which is cool. Once we get through these battle runs, we will use the breach caused by the rock to enter the gun forces. I wonder, can I destroy that? Yes, I can! Where are they coming from? Ah, uh, there they are. There we go. Grab ammo. Let's go through here. Blow up another gun turret, and another gun turret. Well, we got a lot of incoming. Let's try Fury, shall we? There we go. Open this up. through here. Yeah, I'm really liking this game so far. There must be powering orc contraptions across the battlefield. I'm guessing we gotta follow those cables then. Captain, assault support pods were dropped in this area. Alright, let's see what we can get. Oh! Oh, jump pack! All right, let's go. Okay, hold space to fire the jump pack. When in flight, tap mouse two to blast to the ground, killing or stunning most enemy targets. Range weapons are limited to the bolt pistol and bolter while wearing a jump pack. Okay, so no stalker bolter then. Take to the high ground, Captain. We will deal with the orcs down here. All right. Let's see. Oh, Just keep whacking him with the chain sword. And, uh. Using the jump pack. Gotta love the jump pack. Jump packs are awesome. Boosh! Oh, I love the jump pack. Death from above! Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Through here. Spice Marines incoming! Okay, let's get up there and show them what for. Wait, what for what? Officer based? Based? Based on what? What the hell are you on about? Can I get up here, I wonder? Nope. Skill issue. There's loads of really good 40k games out there. I played through 40k Bolt Gun, which was really fun, which was a 40k Doom clone. Uh, no need, more need for the jump pack now. Chapter 3, The Belly of the Beast. Give me a second, I'll be right back. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. Yeah, and uh... We still got a little more time. Uh, we'll see if we can get to the uh... Uh, disabled gun at least. We can go a little further. Before we end the video. I'm really enjoying this game so far. It's really, really fun. But then again, most 40k games are really fun. 
Some of them were kind of bad, but a lot of them are really good too. Like, uh, I played through 40k Bolt Gun all the way through, and that game's literally just a 40k Doom clone, and I mean that in the absolute best sense of the word. Because honestly, a 40k Doom clone is one of those things where you honestly wonder why didn't that happen sooner? Like, uh, a 40, 40k and a boomer, a 40k themed boomer shooter is honestly one of those things that's just perfect, yeah. Those guardsmen cannot survive that long. We find a way to destroy the gun. New objective, destroy the gun. What do we got here? Ooh, vengeance launcher. The experimental Grya Pattern Vengeance Launcher is a specialized launcher for magnetized fusion charges that adhere to walls and enemy armor. Press 1 to fire, press R to detonate. Ooh. So I could actually, like, uh, launch grenades into people and detonate them remotely. That's, that's gonna be fun. Okay. Here. Let's open this up. What manner of thing was that? Bosch. Alright. An armory. Let's, uh, get ammo. Grenades. Look here, Captain. Melter charges. Put those in the right place. And this whole fortress will come down. Ooh, that's I handy. Put the charge on one of the gun shells. Leandros, you do the chapter proud. Mm hmm Yes, let's take that and, uh... Oh, I love the chain sword so much, it is so satisfying. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You know, honestly, I, I'm so used to the grenade button in games generally being G that uh, I keep forgetting in this game it's bound to Q. So I might have to work on my key bindings for the next video. Or I could just get used to it and learn not to have skill issues. You know, like an actual gamer and not a filthy casual like I am. Your intellect is as weak as your dollar. Failure is your destiny. You disrespect yourself and your nation. You are made of stupid. Shell storage is below. All right. Down we go. Let's uh, stick with the bolt for now. Insert elevator music here. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. Here we are. That was a nice bit of elevator music. Let's deal with the orcs, shall we? They're not about to run short of ammunition. Right. Found in the audio log there. I'll probably go through those later on in like maybe another video. But uh, for now I'm just focusing on completing these objectives. Don't want to have too much filler in, in, my, in my videos. Yeah, no shit Sherlock! Ah! In body, then corrupt in mind. And I had my first skill issue. Yeah, I had my first skill issue and I died on easy mode like an absolute noob. Yeah. That's what just happened. Wasn't because of the game, that was because of my own incompetence. I, uh, was too, uh, too overconfident in my abilities as a space marine. Rule of thumb, don't get too close to squigs, you will instantly die.
And I died again like a noob. And we're back once again, and there's another squig. Tactical reload. Always keep your gun topped off. Don't let the squigs get too close. There's a rule of thumb. That's a uh, useful uh, information to know. Thanks, Captain Obvious. And uh, just do that, you won't die like a noob like me. Six and a half hours later. Squig, squig. Here, crack this door open. All right, if that's how you like it. Purge the heretics. Fall the emperor. Ah, uh, yes. Might have used Fury a little too early there, but, uh, I don't know, we'll see. Here, Captain. We need to get the shell into that loader. Okay, here we go. There, I will place the charge on that shell. Now Put the charge the on. Shell into place. Moving the shell into place. The fact that he's doing this by himself really goes to show you just how strong Space Marines are. Like, they are absolute monsters. With luck, the Orcs will feed it right into the gun's chamber. We cannot rely on luck for this, Sir Donis. We follow the shell up and make sure it reaches its destination. Aye. Now back to the lift. Right. Back to the lift, then. Which means we're going back the way we came. That's what she said! <laughs> Destroy the gun battery, so our reinforcements can come back in. Surprise, motherfucker! Oh, you think? We seem to have ignored the sport. Well, I can't talk today. We seem to have annoyed these orcs. Really, you don't say, Captain Obvious. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Oh no. Execute! That almost went very, very badly. Gonna have to be very, very careful from here on and so I can get my health back. Yep, more elevator music. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. And here we are. Ground floor of perfumery, stationery, and leather goods, wigs and haberdashery, kitchenware and food going up. What did he say? Oh. Pick up ammo for everything. Yeah, we're good to go. Yes! I found the execution button. And that's how you heal in this game, by the way, as well. You stun enemies, and then you execute them. Boosh! Ah, oh, it's so satisfying. Right. Keep moving on through here. All right, we gotta get there. Keep moving, boys. Let's keep it moving. Come on. Off it, people. Let's go. Grab more ammo. And here we are. Activate. Let's go, boys. Going up. Onwards and upwards! Should be going to about there, I think. That door. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. And we have arrived, and god damn, those elevators are slow. Fine company, 
Like they could honestly give the elevators in the massive in the Citadel and Mass Effect a run for their money in terms of how slow they are. Let's grab another purity seal. Marksman mode unlocked. Okay. Fury now allows you to enter marksman mode. Time slows down, allowing you to place shots with lethal precision. Use T to enter fury mode, then left control to enter marksman mode. All right. Does not affect a turreted weapon. So can't use marksman mode while you're, while you have a heavy bolt or equipped. It's important to know. All right. Oh yeah, we got bullet time. Let's go. Let's go. Then we put it back. The Andros. Get the shell into that loader. I will cover you. Yeah, Leandros, do your job as the turbo nerd rookie. Oh! Oh, and also stop being such a turbo nerd with the codisk Sistardis. No one likes a kiss ass. Oh! I think I might have actually figured out what button I used to make the Stalker Bolter work. There it is. I found the scope button. Keep it moving, Leandros. Come on. Boosh. Come on, let's go. Ow. Ow, come on. Yeah, this video is starting to run a little long, so I think we're probably going to call it a day here. Um, but yeah, I've had a lot of fun with this game so far. This is, uh, I love 40k, I'm liking this game, and I'm looking forward to where it goes, and I'm also looking forward to playing Space Marine 2. I hope I can do that on the channel at some point in the near future. Uh, thank you so much to everybody for tuning in this week. Be sure to tune in next time, leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel on your way out. I've been Willie B. Coyote, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!